I think the first three to five years in this business is, is just the honeymoon phase. You're still believing this whole euphoria. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Um, hope everybody had a good day. So let's let's talk about the tape. So prior to uh, prior to today's session, uh, if you look at the spies, right? Um, the spies up to today, and today was just a little bit better, but up till today had the last two days or the first two days of the week had its lowest two volume days for the whole year, right? If you look all the way to the bottom here, you'll see the last two days had incredibly light volume, uh, very, very uh, just not committing an action. We talked about this on the previous video on Monday night that there was just absolutely no option flow whatsoever. It felt like institutional money kind of just left the building and just has no no deal and no uh, desire to come back. And, you know, we kept on just going sideways. You see this whole sideways action, up one day, down one day, up one day, down one day. And all these channels are getting tighter and tighter. Again, uh, tell me if you, you've heard this before. And the same thing pretty much on the NASDAQ composite. So the, the only difference between uh, today's session and the last two sessions, yeah, we had some, you know, we had some pretty decent pivots uh, yesterday, uh, but today it finally felt a little bit normal. I think that's the best way of saying it. Uh, and despite the, the, you know, despite what the scoreboard said, and despite that there was just a smaller, smaller tick in uh, volume today versus yesterday, and you can see the Nasdaq Composite actually had smaller volume than yesterday. At least we saw something today that resembled. You know, pretty organic trading. We saw option flow. That's number one. Uh, we saw pretty aggressive moves in the morning, and that's a very, very big deal because again, when you you have that open window, you literally have a a window to to go through, and that's the first three hours of the day. And the afternoon usually becomes one big dead zone. Like, again, it's not anything new uh, that we talked about, but the most important part was at least we got a window, right? And that was the most important thing. And there was some pretty good moves. Again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. But the question is, right, and excuse me, the answer is after the lunch, you saw a very lethargic end to the day. And the market just kind of faded. Um, really not a lot, you know, really not a lot of emphasis. Again, the volume kind of speaks for itself. And the question is, again, how long is this gonna, is, is this gonna last? Now, if we have a continuation of today's action for tomorrow, nobody's gonna complain, right? We're still gonna turn around after lunch and go, wow, it's kind of dead here after lunch, but that's okay. After lunch is a completely different uh, the different game in the morning. But the most important thing is, can the market at least continue to show us a resemblance of what we saw today, right? Compared to the first two days of the week that were just very, very painfully slow. And I think a lot, again, if you are an intraday trader, um, and you do trade high beta technology, you kind of know the same thing. Now, again, if you trade $2 stocks, small cap stocks, and again, there's been some pretty good moves uh, in that sector, no no denying that. Right? Yesterday, there was that uh, AERC, uh, today uh, was this HTCR, right? If you, you know, if you, th these are big, big moves. So again, if you traded these things, uh, hey, top, Congratulations, that's a really, really big deal. But for the most part, again, we, you know, I, I, I trade technology, right? That I don't know what the rest of the market is because that's kind of my thing. So uh, technology is uh, the most important thing for me. And again, the, the, the most important sectors right now for the last couple of days of speculation money has been uh, the oil and energy, smaller cap names. And, and now you're seeing uh, smaller cap names just in general kind of kind of fire up a little bit desire. And again, for those people who are making money, those things, those things are fantastic. But for the rest of us, the majority of, of market participants who uh, you know just are looking for institutional money flow, we're still getting this long, long case. And tomorrow is going to be day nine, right? So now we're talking about almost two full weeks of sideways action. Now, again, you, you can you can talk about, well, the market is 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 just waiting on CPI. That's cool, right? That's cool. But but why is this CPI more important? Think about it. Why is this CPI more important than the last uh, you know the last uh, you know data, the last Fed conversation, the last Fed testimony? Like why is it different? Like I, I feel like it's almost like an excuse. 
an apologetic statement of why the market has been less than aggressive. That's the best way of saying it, less aggressive the last few days. But we'll see. Again, it, the hardest part for a newer trader is to kind of sit. Okay, today was a little bit different. Today we had some pretty good good pivots. But for the majority of traders, the hardest part is to sit because again, they see markets flying all over the place, stocks flying all over the place. It's so easy once you start, you know, once you get to that. 7, 10, 12, 15 years, I'm not even talking about 20, but 7, 10, 15 years, it's much easier to kind of sit back and relax and kind of analyze and take in the data than to just sit there. Again, I think the first three to five years in this business is, is just the honeymoon phase. You're still believing this whole euphoria of, is it Monday at, you know, in, on, on a random Wednesday, and you're still holding this business to a, a really high regard. It's almost like a pedestal. You'll learn, right? You'll quickly learn. You know, that desire to trade is quickly, is quickly gonna go away because you're finally gonna realize what this business is and what it's not, right? This you know, the emotional, uh, the emotional and romanticism of this business in your mind is completely different than what it is. The only question is, can we, you know, can we find value every single day, right? And that's the most important part. The market is just not going higher. The market is not going lower. At least what it did yesterday was, you know, give us at least a a line in the sand to the downside. Because yesterday it snapped this area here, went down to the 10-day moving average. You know, remounted very, very quickly and rallied, and and a move like that should have taken this, you know, the stock market really, really high today, and it just couldn't. It, it absolutely could not. It kind of rolled over. So here we are, right? That's kind of where we are. That's just the reality. I don't care what trader you are on the planet. You're looking at the same charts uh, as everybody else. Yeah, I mean, look, are there things to do for tomorrow? Yeah, you know, I kind of like the CRM, right? CRM is kind of going. Uh, is, is kind of putting in a nice flag after its earnings. That looks pretty good. Uh, a stock like Wynn Resorts, right? First close over the 50-day moving average. You look at the Las Vegas names, right? Las Vegas Sands, kind of the same thing. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely things to look at, but when you look at the stocks that we trade, right? I mean, look at Tesla, right in the middle of the range. It's, it's right now, it's 35 points away from the bottom range and 25 points away from the top of the range, right? That's in the middle of the range. You look at a name like Facebook, and again, Facebook had a really nice move today, right? Facebook is right in the middle of the range. Apple that looked really great for a, about three hours today, had a nice move, not huge, but a nice move. You know, had some 52 and a half, 50, uh, 52 and a half weeklies, 155 weeklies, and just can just died on a vine here. So the market as of right now, uh, for the technology names only, just absolutely, absolutely no just gusto, right? One way or another. Uh, and if you look at tonight's email, for all you guys who don't get the email, you're not gonna see it. But if you look at tonight's email, for all you guys in the webinar, you'll see there's like two smaller cap stocks on there. You, you'll never, you know, you know what the chances for me to put two small cap stocks to watch for tomorrow, right? Probably not, but that's kind of where the hot money is right now. And for all you guys in the webinar who caught that HTCR today, you kind of see, you know, where you know where the money flow is right now and where it's not. So it's a nice little blend uh, going into tomorrow. So I think the most important part is kind of accept that we're back in the range, and unfortunately, that's exactly where we are. But again, as we know, every single day, you don't need to look for value, right? It's going to fall into your lap or it's not. And the greatest part about it is there's always the next day. And that's the most important part. That is the discipline of being an aspiring trader, a professional trader, or anything uh, in between. So let's talk about today. Not bad at all. Not bad at all today. Uh, finally, things started waking up here. You know, MDB, uh, thinner trader, 299, 300, uh, needs to build for a possible move to 310. Um, not a big move, you know, not a big move at all. But uh, again, you know, here was your, th you know, 299 trade and it went to uh, 308, right? Here's your 299, 300 and just missed 310 and went to 308. Not a bad move at all. Not a bad move at all. Uh, Apple, you know, 149 needs to build, only went up about 70 cents. Um, but it looked so good, didn't it, right? It looked so good for like the first three hours of the day. It looked good, like it was about to go and then just kind of died on a vine, which kind of sucks. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, Facebook was definitely one of the nicer, cleaner moves today. Uh, basically, just went straight up. Uh, 197 needs to build. Here was Facebook. It traded right to the $200.55 uh, area that we talked about. Here was the whole pivot here. It took out the 197 and traded all the way up to that uh, 200, uh, $200.50 area. Really nice, smooth trade. Wasn't it? it wasn't any down ticks. Uh, AERC, that was the one from yesterday. Uh, 1185, 12 needs to build. You know, had an initial spike here. Uh, had an initial spike here. Uh, went to this uh, 12, where was it? Went to 1270s 
and then just died like you know like a lot of these other names do uh crm i still like for tomorrow uh gamestop nothing marvel nothing ttd only ran up about uh 60 cents nothing big there uh tesla again it's tesla right it's it's tesla uh 735 needs to build that's the 60 minute supply for a move to 746 uh initially here's tesla again tesla i mean if you could just catch tesla what else do you need right so here's the seven here's the 735 it went to 750 but then right got rejected off the 50 day moving average excuse me the 20 day moving average got rejected now it's literally in the middle of the range from the bottom in the middle of the range for the top so it is what it is in this market guys you got to just continue taking cash flow just keep on taking on the way up take on the way down we've been kind of beating that point to the into everybody's head don't treat this as you know don't treat it more anything more than a rental right uh, it's just literally just a rental as soon as you get cash flow if it goes to your measure potential that's great but if not you know use break even as you stop on all runners but again that, that's kind of the formula until we kind of get out of this range so tesla again tesla is good uh veru uh never got to the 642 area so that's it you know that's it i'm you know so i'm kind of watching uh you know i'm kind of watching everything tomorrow uh amazon you know it looks interesting as well uh you know it looks interesting after the split here i'm going to watch the bottom channel here in the next couple of days it probably doesn't get there tomorrow but i am going to watch this thing for the next couple of days and kind of just see where everything is i think that's the best way of saying it again i don't have a great vibe for tomorrow because if you go through all the channels today after you know, your, your your research after the close you'll see exactly what i'm seeing just everything stuck in the middle but eventually here's the good news something has to give it always does the question is when right that's the question so you know pretty pretty solid day uh pretty solid day uh tomorrow we'll see what happens tomorrow right we'll see what happens tomorrow guys have a great night god bless and i will see you on the field tomorrow